L.A. I won $53,000. Find out how you can break the bank on your favorite game show. It was unbelievable. I've never won anything in my life. We'll go to Game Show College to learn the secrets. My name is Jan Carl, formerly from Moline, Illinois. I'm currently living in Los Angeles. Then... I've even been known to embarrass Larry Flint. Meet a woman who's made quite a name for herself in a male-dominated business. Beautiful. She's photographer Suze Randall. I think because I'm a woman, I am I get away with a lot more than other male photographers. The world of adult entertainment is a controversial one with many different points of view. The following story concerns itself with one of those points of view from a perspective that disturbs some people and surprises almost everyone. See the smut peddlers close up and look like a man. <laughs> when one conjures up girly photographers, one is apt to think of drooling old men in overcoats or slick hustlers with gold chains, hairy chests, and tinted aviator glasses. Are you a sweetheart or what? So what are we to make of Suze Randall, a happily married woman who acts more like an English school mom than what she really is, one of the leading glamour photographers, contributing to soft and hardcore men's magazines? Yeah, no. yeah, you just slip it up because I want that great shape. Good. Yvonne. Suze is really special just because there's no one else like her, actually. I mean, she's, she's quite unique in her own way. That's good. Just, yeah, open the mouth. Love. Yes. Whoa. Yes, Love. There's always that thought when there's a man photo photographing you that, oh, what a, you know, pervert he might. Are you really trying to let her on to you afterwards or something? But with Suze, she, you know, she's a woman, so she's just more like a friend. I think Suze has an advantage being a woman photographer because it does make the girls feel more relaxed. She was one of the very first photographers I ever shot with. And it's, it's scary when you first take your clothes off and you're modeling nude in front of someone. Um, when it's a woman, and she's making you laugh and giggle and, and telling you jokes at the same time, it, it's much easier. And I think that most of the girls who do model nude prefer to shoot with a woman. Sue started her professional career as a nurse in London and soon turned to modeling, an occupation that suited her flamboyant personality. What made you want to go out and get behind the camera? Well, I think I was at a stage in my modeling that I obviously wasn't going to become the next Jean Shrimpton. I wasn't going to be a superstar, and I wanted to take control of my life and do something with it. And I saw all these male photographers that I didn't really think very much of. I thought, like, you know, it's got to be, it's got to be a cinch if these guys can do it. So I bought a camera and started. The billion-dollar-a-year sex industry is like any other business, competitive, professional, and occasionally ruthless. And as one might imagine, it is one of the last bastions of male chauvinism. But Suze has met the Hefners and Guccionis on her own terms. I've even been known to embarrass Larry Flint. I'm, um, I'm not controllable, I think. I think because I'm a woman, I'm, I get away with a lot more than other male photographers do. I mean, male photographers belong to one magazine. They work for that magazine. They worship it, and they wouldn't do anything to jeopardize their future. I work here, there, and everywhere, and play it, you know, play the game every angle. And it makes it fun. It makes the whole game fun. Synthetic sex is created by a time-consuming process, a strange brew of lights, film, and an intense relationship between photographer and model. Love it. Good girl. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, turn your torso to me just Ooh. a little bit. Just because she's so happy all the time, it helps you relax, and that's really important. And whenever you're modeling for her, when she wants to get a certain mood, she'll make a certain ooh or an ah that'll really help you get the right mood for the shot. Predictably, Suze has taken flack for exploiting women, and also predictably, she feels she has the last word on the issue. Say phooey. I think as long as somebody's doing something happily and enjoying it, and they're getting ahead, then that's great. Both sides succeed. Come on. Mm. Great. Beautiful. We've just presented one side of that issue that won't go away, the ethics of pornography. 
Whether you think it's right or wrong, immoral or just a way to make a living, it's important to remember there are no easy answers. And people like Suze Randall are yet another reason why those answers are hard to find.